This is CBS 11 News Now. Good morning. Time now is 756 and we've got some major traffic alerts for you as you head out the door. Take a look at your screen. The areas that are to the northwest of this line are areas seeing ice on elevated surfaces and that includes elevated roadways. So if you are traveling in any of these areas, you're going to notice significant icing on elevated surfaces, just like I 20 is elevated right near the West Loop 820 area and I 30 over Lincrest. That's where we have multiple crashes due to ice there. Multiple crashes due to ice on Northwest Loop 820, including one that we caught video of earlier this morning. Take a look at your screen and you can see this box truck losing control on an icy stretch of roadway, slamming into at least two vehicles that were already disabled related to the ice. So we cannot emphasize it enough. There are slick road conditions out there this morning. Thankfully, though, only two people injured in this crash, but both had minor injuries. Let's talk to Annalise, though, because unfortunately, this is not going to this is going to continue, Brooke. Yeah, it is and, and be sure to it's not just the roads, but also flights. Check your flight status. If you're heading to the airport this morning, several airlines have announced cancellations. Um, right now we're seeing more than 630 flights at DFW Airport. More than half of those are American and Envoy over at Love Field Airlines. Uh, Southwest Airlines has canceled 85 flights and this storm is also impacting people looking to use mass transit. Dart says it is suspending its rail service for the safety of its passengers and riders and their bus will run on a Sunday schedule. Trinity Metro says its Railway Express will be operating on a Saturday schedule. We do want to get the latest on the forecast, so let's send things over to Annalise. Hey there, Brooke. Yeah, we're watching as more of that freezing rain pours into North Texas. A reminder, winter storm warning. This was an upgrade early this morning. That includes the Metroplex and points to the north all the way until tomorrow night at 6 p.m. So we are talking a two day deal of some big impacts where temperatures are only going to be really in the upper 20s for today. And as we switch on over to links one, we take a look at where some of that freezing rain is drifting in from the south. We've kind of watched this trend over the past couple of hours and boy, it's really filled in. Now it's not overly heavy, but we don't need much to cause some issues because the road temperatures are catching up and they're dropping as we move on now into the later part of the morning. So we're seeing uh, still doing OK in southern sides of Dallas County. You get a little bit closer to the mid cities area. Certainly you get up into Denton and Collin County. Those road temperatures places closer to Louisville and Frisco about 30 degrees. You kind of see that line as Jeff kind of outlines that for us. But those darker blues from McKinney to Keller to Saginaw. That's where we're seeing uh, that freezing rain and it's really expected to cause some travel issues as we go on through the rest of the morning. Stay tuned, of course, with us. We're following this the rest of today and into tomorrow as well.